apologize. But welcome to the Crafty Crochet Yarn Review show. And we're going to talk about Fabul Fur Yarn. Okay, so what does that mean? We're going, this is how this review here on YouTube is supposed to be. So I'm going to show you each week either a yarn, a, let's say, tool, something you use for crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to show you not only how it looks like, but also the details of it, the logistics of it, how it works up, and then I'll show you some of the patterns, okay, that you could use with it, whether it's free or it's not free. And then at the end, I want to know what you are going to do, okay? And I'll tell you, of course, all the links are in the description down below. If you need anything, it's right down there. So you can grab this yarn down there, and you can, of course, grab the patterns as well that I'm about to talk about. So who is here, first of all? And I'm not going to pull my signs right now, but I'm hoping you guys know the gist of it. Do the one with the C, do the one with an S, and do the one with the E. <laughs> so hopefully I see one, three of these and we're nine people here. So I think we can get a few more of these. And by the way, if you're not subscribed, down there is a big button that you can click. But for now, let's talk about this yarn. Okay, it's Fabul Fur Yarn. Fabul Fur Yarn is from We Crochet slash Knit Picks. Yes, Knit Picks has a new site called We Crochet. So they're trying to make sure that Knit Picks is for knitters and We Crochet is for crocheters. Yay! So this is all for us. How cool is that? And I am proud to be one of their ambassadors to talk about their amazing yarn. Okay? I was wondering if you have done the giveaway for the Furry Fairy Yen. Yes, I did. I did do the giveaway for this yarn and someone won. And I announced the winner on that specific post. I even put it in my email. So hopefully you didn't miss it. I put it in there. Anyways, Fabul for Yarn. Let me get them a little closer. I believe you guys see it the right way. I see myself the wrong way. So this says Fabul for Yarn. It is super bulky weight. It has 71 yards, 100 grams. And this specific color is called Bjorn, I believe. And then this one is called Kuma. I have two different ones, Kuma and Bjorn, I believe. I am behind. Too much going on. That's okay, Christy. Don't, wor don't worry about it. Um, let's see. I missed it. I wasn't me. <laughs> That's okay. So, uh, whoever it was, I don't remember the names. The person was announced. She was, I put it in my email said winner is announced and the person already knows she won and, um, the yarn is being sent to her. So there was so many enter uh, entrances for that giveaway. It was beyond, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, so let's talk a little bit more about Fabul Fur yarn. Okay, so Fabul Fur yarn is 100% polyester yarn. And uh, so it is a size six in yarn. We're trying to reconnect, unstable connection. Can you guys see me? <laughs> I think I'm in the wrong internet. Can you guys see me? Well, congrats on the winners, yay. Can you guys see me? All right, everything's back. For me, it's set for a second um, in the wrong connection. Hopefully it's all gonna work. <laughs> Cross my fingers. All right, I want to tell you, can see you. Okay, great, you're good here. Awesome, yay. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this yarn because it's a really incredible yarn before I go into the patterns. Okay, so normal, fa uh, um, let me call it fur yarn, fa full fur yarn because that's what it is and they're called fabul fur yarn because someone else already took the name full fur. So, um, I want to show you a little bit of a close-up, okay? And this is the close-up. So this is the back of it. So let me go as close as possibly can so you can really see it. It's a tape right here. And that's where the fur is attached to. So here's the fur. It looks really nice. And as you can see, when I put my finger next to it, it's the height of a nail that is hopefully cut appropriately. <laughs> so, but... This tape here in the back, let me hold it in a way you can see it again. Okay, this tape right there is very, very easy to feel. Okay, very easy. But it is not a hard um, tape that I would say is going to bother you later on. You can feel the tape when you crochet. But later on, when you're done with your piece like this, you won't feel it anymore. It's, it's, you know, it's just part of it. You feel like a stitch, okay? 
So possibly add the familiar. Da, da, da. Okay, you guys are all good. All right, awesome. So now this yarn is extremely easy to use. Okay, I would suggest one thing, and that's why this review is here. I would suggest not using a metal hook for it. Don't use a metal hook for it. You need something that a little bit grabs it a little bit, okay? So I prefer using a wooden hook for this. I tried a metal hook, but it was too slippery. See, certain yarns you want to use a metal hook for or can use a metal hook for. This one, you shouldn't, in my opinion. Now, you can try if that's what you want and uh, go for it and try it. However, I've noticed it was better to use a wooden hook. I specifically used a... Uh, uh, where's my hook? I can't find my hook right now. I specifically used a, for, uh, what is it called now? Furl's hook. Lordy, <laughs> the name was gone. I apologize. Yeah, I don't have a, um, I don't know what happened with my wooden hook. I think it's in my, in my whip bag. Anyways, having said that, the wood, because it's not so smooth like metal, it kind of holds it a little bit more in place and therefore makes it easier to crochet. So you grab it and you move through it and you just keep on going. OK, yeah, I don't know if it's a bamboo hook. You could try bamboo hook. I'm pretty sure that works, too. So the wood or bamboo probably works the best, in my opinion, for this specific yarn. OK, so. Now, let me show you some of the patterns. We have two different patterns that are from me. And then I have one pattern that I wish I could show you right now, but I'm going to pull it up on my phone so at least you see a picture of it, um, is from someone else. I have not found another pattern using this specific yarn. Remember, there is plenty of patterns out there for full fur yarn. However, this one, um, this specific yarn is brand new on the market and therefore not that many patterns out there. When I show you guys yarns, I want to show you patterns related exactly to this yarn okay so hopefully that makes sense you can use any other yarn um you want for this specific pattern but i am talking about specifically the full fur yarn what size hook i believe i you know what i'm going to look it up right now because i don't want to give you the wrong one i used a nine millimeter hook that's what i did yes i used a nine millimeter hook so the first pattern i would like to talk about is this awesome pattern right here and that is called just simply what it is. It's a faux fur pom-pom. I even made a video tutorial on this beautiful pattern. And if you can look closely, yes, I used the nine, mil nine millimeter hook. Oh my God, I can't talk anymore. Nine millimeter hook. <laughs> and um, I should just say the letter of it, but I forgot the letter right now. I think it's an N hook. Um, so as you can see, even though it's a big size hook and you can actually poke your finger into the stitches and I can feel the polyfill in it, you can't see it. And you can't see the polyfill coming out and it's not going to come out because the full fur kind of keeps it all together and it's really easy to work up. Okay, how many pom-poms can you make with one ball? One of these, because it is 71 yards, in my opinion, I can't really weigh it because, you know, there's polyfill in it so it weighs a little bit but I believe let me see I want to look at my leftover yarn so I used for one of these skeins okay just to give you an idea one of these skeins uses up this amount so this is my headband that was or your warm I'm about to talk about the, and two of these and I still have left over and I could make another one so in my opinion I believe you can make four or five maybe even six in this kind of size you can make them bigger and you can make them smaller. I have the pattern written out for free on my website. So you can make this easily bigger or smaller. Okay. So if you can compare your, I'll put it right here. So you can kind of compare a little bit how big this is. Okay. So this is how big it is. So let's say from my eyebrows all the way to eh, almost the top of my mouth. So if that helps you a little bit to figure out how big this pom-pom is. Okay. So my idea is roughly... Let me say, I think a good number would be five. That's definitely a good number to say how many pom-poms you can get out of one of these skeins. It could be more, depending on your tension. That's, you know, that's an important thing too. Um, then I also have this gorgeous pattern, which I have to hold my little twist to make sure it stays where it is. So this is another pattern, okay? You can uh, use for, with this yarn, it works up extremely easy. It is in rows, back and forth, single crochet, again, using a nine millimeter wooden hook. 
and then simply twisting it and then sewing it together in the back. You can't see the sewing part. I actually believe I use slip stitches if my memory is right. And that's very easy. It's good and budget friendly. Very true. It is very affordable yarn. And if you go to their website, so the link again for this yarn is in the description, okay? It's a uh, affiliate link, which means I get a small commission for it, but you don't pay a dime more. In fact, I believe they have currently a uh, coupon code on their website. I think it's 15% off or something. So it's really good and you can use it for this yarn. And they have even a package where you get all the five different colors in one package, which in my opinion, if I remember, I don't want to look it up right now because then I go off track. But I believe it's about 20 dollars roughly don't quote me on the number for five of these and then you could use your 15 percent off coupon code that they advertise on their website on we crochet again the link is in the description down below and uh it is extremely awesome in fact i must say that the free ship and not the free shipping but the shipping cost is extremely affordable in fact if you go over a certain limit you get free shipping too but even below it it is very affordable to ship this to you especially in the u.s Okay, so let's see. Um, did I miss anything? Watch your video. I'm making pom-pom with this yarn. Can't wait to give it a try. Yay, that's awesome. Yeah, just heads up. You cannot see the stitches. You must feel the stitches. But as I said, because of this beautiful band there in the back, which is really nice, it doesn't, it's not harsh or anything, and it's you don't feel it after it's done, that band is simply there to hold the faux fur on it, and secondly is to feel the stitch and then you can easily crochet with this stitch no problem you just have to i would say i would suggest for you to stay somewhere or be somewhere where there's not so much distraction because you're going to have to count so you have to going to feel your stitch and count how often you did it okay how many stitches are across did i do every stitch so because you can't see it, you have to feel and count in your head how many stitches you did so that you don't go beyond, okay? So and it's all nice and smooth, and it's so soft. You guys have no idea. If you haven't used this yarn yet, it is so extremely soft. Could you use this to make an entire hat? All right, sweetheart. Yes, you could. <laughs> and I tried, and it looks like I haven't even it. Okay? This, this yarn is so uh, bulky, so... And not bulky in a bad way. It's just bulky. Okay. It's bulky and it makes, I mean, it's really, I had, I made the hat with it, you guys. I made it. Okay. And it looks like I had an igloo on my head. It was so huge. It looked huge. And which is why I created the ear warmer and it's going to look enormous. You look like you're, you're from a different planet because your head looks so big and fluffy. Okay. Now, if that's what you're going for, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's great for Alaska for sure. If you, especially if you put some felt in it or something. Yeah, go for it. But I'm letting you know it looks enormous. Okay. So little heads up on that. You could, yes. Um, just it looks enormous. Okay. So let me show you now on my phone um the other pattern that I would love to have shown you on screen, but I couldn't make it work. It looked like I was live, but it, I apparently wasn't, so I couldn't make it work. So here is the other pattern. And again, the link for that is in the description. This is from my good friend, Diane. Um, yesterday, she was um, featured on Leap Into Fall. I hope you grabbed her pattern for free um, as a PDF. The pattern is still free on her website, but not as a PDF anymore. And this is a beautiful cowl, yes, made with this yarn, okay? So after she saw that I made these pom-poms and the ear warmer, she really wanted the yarn as well. And she literally spiced up one of her patterns and remade it. It's gorgeous. It's super soft and so, so, so stylish. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. So you have three options currently for my part from what I can find. I'm sure there will be a many, many more patterns out there uh, using this yarn. But there's currently three that I put in the description for you to grab. So um, we have this one, we have this one, and then the cowl that I just showed you. They were all made with this beautiful yarn, okay? So do you guys have any more questions about this yarn? I want to show you. I'm going to come a little closer on this one because one of the things that I... Oopsie, my hair is all funky now. One of the things that was important to me is that you can see how it works up, okay? Now, I didn't make a swatch because... 
this is the same thing as a swatch. You know, I can fold it together and say, here's your swatch. And yes, this is exactly how it looks like in rows. Pretty much the same way as rounds, right? And it works up beautifully. You cannot see um, the stitches, but you can easily feel it. Here's a stitch, here's a stitch, here's a stitch, here's a stitch, and then here's a stitch. I literally can feel it because of the tape in there. And it is really fluffy. And yes, so this is the thickness of it. Okay, so it's really, really fluffy. So this is one row. This is not double or anything. So as you can see, this is bulky. So you can see next to my hands, right, and my fingers. So if I put my finger right here, so you can kind of see how fluffy it is. It is nice and thick. It's really good. I got it. Beautiful. Awesome. Yay. Um, you got the pattern. I'm so glad you guys got the pattern. Um, I made a hat with this type of yarn. Didn't like it. <laughs> You're correct with the info. Yes, it is correct. How about for the edging of a cardigan? Ooh, that would be a beautiful way of using this yarn and spice up your pattern. Ooh, that would be gorgeous for sure. Yes, for sure. I would definitely use it somewhere. Like, think about my pattern, my poncho um, pattern that I just published, the textured fall poncho. Would that be pretty if you go all the way around and make a gorgeous little fluffy edging on it it would be beautiful i would definitely re recommend that for sure perfect for glove bands that is correct it is perfect for that in fact you could even use this pattern right here instead of twisting it you don't twist it and then you go around the edge i'm going to show you untwisted right now how it looks like okay so this is untwisted okay I put my twist in the back so you won't see it. So yes, you have it untwisted. Now you could go all the way around here, like from the, you know, all the way around and add a hat to it, okay? So pretend that this is just the ribbing of your hat and then you just add the hat to it, right? Just like you do in a normal way, which would be a bottom up. So this is the bottom, you work your way up and then you tie it up. In fact, it would be even prettier and cuter if you just then add the pom-pom to it. What do you guys think? Isn't that awesome? This will be another beautiful way of working this up. In fact, I might even do just that. I'm wondering which yarn I should be using. What do you guys think? This will be an awesome way to use this. Um, which color? And I'll work it up for November and I can publish the pattern. That way you can use two ways of using this awesome yarn. Wouldn't that be cute? You guys think it's a cute idea? Yes, a wolf hat for the Halloween costume. That's an awesome idea too. You want the light brown? Okay, the light brown. So if I do the light brown, I'm gonna have to do another pom-pom, but that's fine. I'm happy to do so. A uh, teddy bear. A teddy bear would be great too. Just be aware, you know, it gets kind of really big. And so you be aware that you make it small. It's like use a small pattern so it looks because of the fluffiness, right? Use the light brown, okay. Pattern inspiration, that's right. So yes, I'll use this yarn right here. Then I'm gonna work around. So you guys are live here on camera with me, so help me out. Which yarn do you want me to use with this yarn? So which yarn with this yarn? So we're looking now for worst weighted yarn, which color I should be using to make the middle part, the hat part. So we have this one for the ribbing right here. And then for the pom-pom. So what color is in between? I believe, in my opinion, it should be a bold color, a really strong color, since this is very neutral. You, if you listen to my uh, colors before, if you have taken one of my courses before or my challenge, you know how I talk about colors and which colors work very well together. It will be more of a bold color that will be uh, looking really good together. Um, now this is Knit Picks yarn, so I would definitely suggest doing a Knit Picks or We Crochet yarn. So let's see, maybe, ooh, I have a great idea. And you're gonna see my pajama pants right now because I'm a pajama pants. <laughs> yes, I look good from the top up when I work from home. So hang on a second. So here are, who here's another one. All right. So what do you guys think about these? You guys see my pajama pants? I didn't see it. <laughs> okay, so I have two different colors here. Um, I don't think we should, maybe one so we could use this yarn hang on i want to hold it properly so you can see it this is not a review about this yarn this is just an inspiration for a future upcoming pattern so we have here twill okay this is a beautiful purple yarn 
Um, and then we have a more bold bluish purple right here, Mighty Stitch. And then we have, what is this color here? Fairy Tail, which is kind of like a burgundy, almost burgundy. Is that burgundy? No, it's like a pink red. I'm sorry, it's a pink red. And here's a burgundy, I apologize. And this one is called Pomegranate. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see the colors. Dark red, no worries, I'm still, uh, my now, oh, I love that. So wine color, purple, dark red, blue. Okay, so it looks like the dark red seems to be winning. Now, what is dark red? Is this the one that you're talking about? Okay, let me hold it over here. Okay, we have these two. Ooh, they look good together. Love it. This looks great together too. I think it's going to be, ooh, oh my goodness, look at this one. Look at this combo. This would be pretty too. So this is purple, it's not blue, okay? Let's see, which color do I like the most? Mm hmm. What do you guys love them all? Think the pomegranate? This is pomegranate. This is pomegranate. And what was this one again? Fairy tail. Ooh, I kind of like the fairy tail too. What is the first one? Okay, so let me say it again. So let me do this one. This is number one, which is pomegranate. Number two is fairy tail. And number three is eggplant. What do you guys think? Pomegranate? Fairy tail? You guys are going back and forth between purple and the, the what is this one? Between fairy tail and pomegranate. This is pomegranate. It looks, most of you guys say pomegranate, so I guess I should be using pomegranate. You guys know I like red and purple, so it doesn't really matter for me, right? I like this combo. Yeah, I think the pomegranate might be a good one. I think most of you guys say pomegranate. Pomegranate, you guys also like the eggplant? One person says eggplant. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like pomegranate wins. Well, you guys can pick whichever color you want. I'm going to pick pomegranate like you guys all want. All right, shall we do that? Okay, so I'll work on that in uh, for November so we can have a pattern for November. Who? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'll work on that for November and have this beautiful bien, bien, I don't know how to pronounce this one, bien, <laughs> uh, color of Fable Fur yarn with the pomegranate yarn from Mighty Stitch. By the way, this is a gorgeous, really soft satin yarn. Um, just a little, I don't wanna do a review on it right now, but it would just let you guys know what it is. It is super wash, merino and acrylic yarn, okay? So it's a worsted weighted yarn. It's more on the on the thinner side of worsted, heads up on that. So it's not on the thicker side. So this one is more on the thicker side. This is also a worsted weighted yarn, which is Superwash Merino, in case you're interested. Okay, so was this helpful? Yay, new pattern. I know, right? I'm excited, actually. <laughs> I'm excited. We literally came up with a pattern right here. Awesome. So I'm going to make another one of these, maybe a little bit thinner than that, right? Just like this, and then work with this color right right on top and then have this color also as the pom-pom back there how much wool is in it in which one let's see hold on um the mighty stitch has 20 percent wool and 80 percent acrylic and then whoopsie daisy and the twill in case you're interested is 100 percent superwash merino it is very soft though this one is very squishy. This one is softer though, and heads up. Softer and a little thinner. It's on the thinner side of uh, worsted weighted yarn. So if that helps a little bit. Uh, yes, so the band will be thinner. And then a hat, obviously, just thinking about which texture I would use. I'm kind of liking or, or looking towards maybe the Zuzette stitch or the lemon peel stitch, something in that range. So it doesn't take too much away of the focus of the beautiful band but still gives it some nice texture and background. So maybe, what do you guys think? Lemon peel or Zuzette? You guys tell me, and then I'll work on it. Lemon peel stitch or Zuzette? Yardage, please. Okay, um, my assumption is you're talking about the Mighty Stitch. Uh, okay, let me see. Can you guys see it? It's 200 yards for 100 grams for the Mighty Stitch. And the twill, I have to look, hang on. Where's the twill? Here. 
Twill is 149 yards for 100, 100 grams. So you can tell this is a little bit thicker uh, than this one. Rosetta Stitch. I have to look one, that one up. I don't remember that one. There's so many stitches out there. <laughs> Rosetta Stitch. Okay, I got to look that one up. But it uh, looks like two of you guys said Rosette Stitch. Okay, I'll look into it and I'll figure out which one I'm going to pick. And then it'll be like a surprise for next time. So in the meantime, I will likely put it in my group too. I need to know what am I going to review next week. What do you guys want to hear about? Likely, I would like to review one of the um, knit picks slash we crochet yarn. Um, but I don't know which one yet. So I have plenty up there. So which one uh, would you guys like? Do you want yarn or do you rather have a hook or something? I have something else I got from We Crochet. Shall we look? Maybe I can convince them to do a little giveaway with it. What do you guys think about these? Who has these? Who has these beautiful? These are Radiant Wood Regular Crochet Hook Set from Nitpick slash We Crochet. Um, and we could do a review about this next week if that's something that you would like. We can do that. Or we can uh, talk about another yarn, like the Mighty Stitch, which I've been working with for a little while, so I can give you a view on how it really works up, if that's what you want. Um, how many skeins for a hat? Oh, less than one skein for a hat. Less than one skein. Um... Almost ordered those the other day. That's cool about the hooks. Uh, we crochet shows around the side. I will try my best, Donna, uh, to do exactly that. So as soon as I figure out how to go live here on YouTube um, with my system, I will for sure do that because that way I can screen share and I can show you um, what I see. And that way I can show you that. Maybe I'll do a We Crochet site review. That will be not bad either. I just have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> and I will do that. <laughs> uh, if not, a hook review, city tweet. I don't know if I have city tweet. And it might be too late to um, do that for next Friday. I could do that possibly for the fo uh, following one. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'll figure it out. If not, I'll put a poll in the group, uh, Crocheting with Nikki on Facebook. And then you guys... Um, do the poll and figure out what I can uh, review next time. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Did you guys enjoy the Crafty Crochet um, Review Show? That's what it's actually called, the Crafty Crochet Review Show. So it's either going to be yarn, it's going to be a hook, it's going to be a tool, whatever. Um, in fact, I even have from them a umbrella uh, for winding yarn. So I could review that one as well. Already used that one. It's amazing. So let me know if you are interested in that. We'll figure it out. All right. Sounds good. Great idea. Yeah. You guys liked it. Awesome. Very pleased with it. I see 30 people here. Whoa. But only 14 of you guys did this one. Can you do more of those? Would be awesome, right? Let's show the world um, how awesome this is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing review. And I see you guys again, either in TCC on Tuesday, if you're a TCC member. TCC is the My Crochet Club, The Crochet Club, which is a membership for VIP crocheters. They even have a game now. Yes, we have a game now. It's super fun. It's a bingo game for crochet, and it's really awesome. It's really fun. And you guys get extra support in the crochet club. And otherwise, I'll see you guys on Wednesday on my Facebook page for the crochet game show. Yes, next Wednesday is the crochet game show on my Facebook page. And then Thursday, the motivational speech or talk. And then again here, Friday, the review. I'm really excited. Happy weekend, happy hooking, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.